Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's broadcast game between McNeil Mavericks and the Hutto Hippos. We're out here at Hutto Hippo Field out in Hutto, Texas. Beautiful day for baseball. 77 degrees. Nice and sunny. Not nearly as much wind as we've been encountering here previously. And we got a little early start here. Empires are ready to go. Field's ready to go. Everybody's ready to go. So we're getting ready for the first pitch. Leadoff hitter number 26, Ryan Morin for the Mavericks steps in. Looks at called strike one. Next pitch is swung on. Sharp ground ball right up the pitcher's mound. It's into center field for a leadoff base hit. Great start. Great start by the Mavericks. Let's, let's see if we can keep this going here. That brings up number two hitter, Ryan Vosick. First pitch to he shows bunt, pulls it back, pitches outside for ball one. Not much of a lead for Moran at first base. Uh, Vosick squares around, puts a bunt down. Pretty nice bunt right down in between first base and pitcher. Pitcher fields it, throws Vosick out at first base, but he moves the runner over on a nice sacrifice bunt. So one away brings up the number three hitter, big left-hander Chris Windesman. First pitch to Windesman, fastball misses it outside high, ball one. seems to issue a uh, warning over to the McNeil dugout about chatter. That's a new one. Haven't seen that all year. Yeah. Well, it's, a, it's a year of a lot of firsts. Next pitch to win has been another ball high and outside. All turf field, well, all turf infield, including an all turf mound here at the uh, Hippo Ballpark. Outfield is grass and dirt, but interesting all-turf mound. 3-0 and now to Windsman. 360 in center field, 310 down the left field line, and 301 down the right field side. So good, good left-hand hitting friendly ballpark. And Windy's got the power to do it. And he looks at 3-0 pitches in there for called strike. one pitch misses outside, ball four. Catcher throws down to try to back pick Moran, the runner at second base. Ball gets away, but it's picked up by the shortstop. So Winnesman is aboard with a one-out walk. We've got runners on first and second now, and we're going to have a visit to the pitching mound. And their <laughs> coach is trying to move imaginary dirt around. There's no dirt out there to move. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's some turf pellets. I don't know. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a gathering of turf pellets out there. He's trying to get sorted out. But okay, and we've got a uh, courtesy runner in for Chris Windsman, who just walked down to first base. Windsman is going to be our starting pitcher. So number twenty-two, Ryan Shook, comes in in his place. And uh, that brings up the number four hitter for McNeil, Jackson Collins, to the plate. First pitch to Collins, another fastball. Outside, ball one.
Pitcher throws to pick off Moore in a second base, but the ball either kicks off of his foot or the base or something like that and kicks into right field. So Look, looked like it might have kicked off his leg. Uh, yeah, like you're saying foot, leg, <laughs> something like that. Either way, it, it went the correct way, and Ryan gets the, the extra base there. Uh, so Morin advances to third. Uh, Shook remained at first as the ball kicked into shallow right field. But uh, we now got runners on first and third with one out. And a 1-0 uh, count to the hitter, Jackson Collins. One zero pitch misses inside ball two. Comes a two zero pitch. Ball's low in the dirt. Catcher keeps it in front. So three zero count now to Collins. Rio pitch misses high and out, ball four. So that'll load the bases. Already see some, already see some uh, yeah, movement good. toward the dugout, or toward the uh, uh, pitch mount over at the, on the Hutto side. Looks like they may be warming up someone to come in. Right field playing real shallow, too. Be nice to see if Lance Bailius, the, the senior, can put one over right field's head, that, that scored a couple runs here. Yeah, so base is loaded, one out. Bailey is the catcher at the plate. He looks at the first pitches in there for called strike one. Next pitch misses inside, ball one. Pitch misses low and outside. Count goes to two and one to Baileus. Morin, the leadoff hitter, stands at third base. Shook, the courtesy runner for the pitcher Chris Windesman, stands at second. And Jackson Collins, the runner at first. And here comes the two one pitch to Baileus. Swung on, lofted in the air to right field. Foul territory, right fielder's over there, makes the catch in foul territory, but that will be deep enough for everyone to advance, and so it's a sack fly out foul. Brings, an arf, brings the first run across for the Mavericks. Nice sack fly there by Balius. Yeah, just what I was mentioning a minute ago, that, that right fielder's playing real shallow. Lance wanted to go that way and, and did get the run, run in. So two outs, now runners on second and third, brings up the right fielder, Jack Goins. First pitch low into the dirt, ball one. Outfield in general, maybe with the exception of left field, but center field and right are both playing very shallow. Center field very shallow too, you're correct. That, mm. Goings looks at the next pitch in there for called strike on the inside corner. Next pitch called strike catches the outside corner. So one ball, two strike count to the hitter Goings. Pitch bounces in the dirt. So two balls, two strikes. Maverick still with the runners on second and third.
Center fielder James Morio on deck should uh, going to reach safely. Swings next pitch, fouls it off, chops it towards the third base coach for the Mavericks, Coach Aguirre. Next pitch, breaking ball. Everyone on the <laughs> Hutto defense will start making their way off the field, but the umpire called it ball three. They were all moving. Everybody thought, everybody thought that one was in there. So full count now. Full count, two outs. Swung on, grounded to shortstop. Feeling about a shortstop, makes a throw to first, just catches going as the fast runner in time for the third out of the inning. So one, one run comes across on one hit and a couple of walks for the Mavericks. And we head to the bottom of the first inning. Mavs won, and Hutto Hippo's coming up to bat. Starting defense for the Mavericks. First base, Jackson Collins. Second base, Caleb Mendoza. Shortstop, Sam Kubaney. Ryan Vosick at third base. Left fielder, Ryan Morin. Center field, James Morio. And in right field, Jack Goins. Behind the plate, catcher Lance Balius. And your starting pitcher, left-hander Chris Windesman. comes the first pitch from Windesman. Swung on, fouled back. Strike one. Lead off hitter for the Hippos, number two, Cantwell. Stands in there with an 0-1 count. Pitch fastball misses outside, ball one. No fastball misses outside. A lot of, a lot of arm side run on that fastball from Windesman tonight. Must be gassing up pretty good. It's tailing quite a bit towards the outside corner. Coming out of that left hand delivery. Next pitch is swung on and fouled back into the screen. So. Count goes to two and two on the leadoff hitter Cantwell for Hutto. Oh, nice late backdoor slider there, just misses outside, so count will go full. Three two pitch swung on and fouled off towards the Mavericks dugout on the right side.
3-2 pitch, swung on, lofted into shallow left field. Morin, the left fielder, is over there to make the grab for the first out of the inning. So what a way for the Hippos. Brings up number 20. We do not have a name for, and we did not receive a lineup from the hippo side. From the uh, hippo side, so we're kind of making it up as we go along here. Lays down a bunt on the first pitch, and uh, it's a nice bunt down third base line. The third baseman Vosick was playing back, so he is on first pitch with an infield bunt single. Brings up another left-handed hitter. Number 12, Bab, for the Hittos, or the Hippos. The first pitch to Bab is low and inside for ball one. Good, good reach by by Collins there to get that. That that almost almost went went past him, but yeah, good save on the pickoff yeah. attempt by uh, Windesman to throw, catch the runner at first base. Runner goes, pitch is swung on and fouled off of his ankle. So number twenty, the runner at first base, will head back to first. We have a one ball and one strike count. Let's see if Hutto dials up the hit the hit and run play again. Throws over. Oh, they've got him picked off. And the throw is down, and oh, the throw is a little high, and shortstop Kubani doesn't make the tag, so the runners is safe at second base. Catcher Bailey has heads out to Talked to his pitcher there, Windesman, after that uh, unsuccessful pickoff there. All right, the hitter Bab steps back in, and we are getting ready for the 1-1 pitch. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses high and inside, gets away from the catcher, Balius, but runner does not advance from second. So we'll have a 2-1 count now to the hitter, Bab. Pitch is swung on and grounded right between shortstop and third base, so that'll be into the outfield for a single. Ball is bobbled by the left fielder, Morin, and that will allow the runner from third to score and the runner to move from first to second on the throw. So one apiece for the Hippos and Mavericks here in the bottom of the second, or bottom of the first. Brings up number 13, Ender, to the plate. First pitch to Ender. Break ball in there for called strike one. Next pitch swung on, lofted in the air, foul over just on top of the Mavericks dugout. So 0 2 count to the hitter ender. Oh, 
0-2 pitch swung on, fouled out of play. Goes backward, hits the, clears the protective screen at the baseball field and hits the back of the protective screen on the softball field right behind us. So here comes another 0-2 pitch. Runner goes from second. Pitch is swung on and missed. Throw down to third is not in time. But we do have a strikeout swinging for the second out of the inning. And Windesman's first strikeout of the evening. And with two away, that brings up number six, Xander Hall for Hutto. Pitch, first pitch gets away from the catcher, Baileus, and uh, the runner from third comes home to score easily. So scores now 2-1, Hutto. Bases are cleared. And we got a 1-0 count to the hitter hall. Next pitch, swung on and missed. One ball, one strike. Looks at the next pitch in there, called strike two. Fastball pretty much looked like middle, middle part of the plate there. So count is one and two, two outs, nobody on. And next pitch is swung on and missed. Does bounce and hit the dirt, but catcher Baileyus throws down to first, successfully gets the drop third strike to end the inning. So a couple of hits for the Hippos. Puts them up two runs to one against the Mavericks. We head to the top of the second. Mavericks coming up to bat. All right, leading off for the Mavericks here in the bottom second will be the center fielder, James Morio. He'll be followed by the second baseman, Caleb Mendoza, and then the shortstop, Sam Cavani. First pitch to Morio is in there for a called strike on the outside corner. Next pitch swung on, grounded towards second base. Second baseman is over to make the throw, make the play, makes the throw, and out first out of the inning. <clears throat> so 
So one away for the Mavericks brings up Caleb Mendoza. First pitch is fastball outside and high, ball one. Another fastball misses outside and low this time, ball two. Two-0 pitch to Mendoza, another fastball outside and low, so count is three balls and no strikes. And Caleb heads down on four straight balls. So a one-out walk for Mendoza. Good job by Caleb. A lot of those pitches were close, but he didn't he didn't get into uh, Sucker into swinging at him. He just stood the ground and got the wall. So that brings up shortstop Sam Kubini to the plate. He looks at the first pitch. Fastball misses just a little bit high. Ball one. Caleb has some speed, too. Let's see if they... Up a Pitch is swung on, lined towards the right side, foul though. So a one on one count to Kubani. Comes the 1-1 one -one pitch. Fastball misses inside and high. Ball two. Pitcher does a little surprise snap throw down to try to catch Mendoza sleeping at first, but he's back in time. Two one pitch to Cabaney. Swung on. Woof. Lines it right in between the on deck hitter and uh the rest of the Mavericks dugout over there. Everybody's all right. So 2-2 two -two count now to Kubaini. Two-two pitch misses inside. So we'll have a full count. Comes the 3 2 pitch. Mendoza goes. Ball is grounded softly in the hole between first and second base. Second baseman's over there, though, and makes the throw in the play. So he gets Kubani, but Mendoza, who is running on the play, is safe at second base. So two outs now for the Mavericks. And we're back to the top of the order. Leadoff hitter Ryan Morin singled in his first at bat back in the first inning. Morin, first pitch to Morin is a fastball. Misses inside. Gets away from the catcher, but Mendoza does not advance from second. Next pitch to Morin is a fastball, catches the outside corner, called strike one. Next pitch, nice breaking ball, comes back in, catches the inside corner for strike two. So two outs from Mendoza, the runner on second. We've got a one ball and two strike count to uh, leadoff hitter Morin. One-two pitch down in the dirt. Misses 
Mendoza tries to advance on the play, and he is thrown out trying to steal third base. So an out on the base paths ends the inning for the Mavericks. No runs, no hits. We head to the bottom of the second score. Hutto 2, Mavericks 1. We'll be right back. Leading off for the Hutto Hippos here in the bottom of the second inning, the right fielder, number nine, Nash. He'll be followed by the left fielder, Fletcher, and the second baseman, Pollard. Swings to the first pitch, popped foul towards the first base side. Catcher Baileus is over and makes a diving play, but just can't quite come up with it. That's going to go. Quite a ways. That Went ball was really hit high in the air, yeah, too. It was. I ended up taking him almost right in front of the uh, the stone pillar in front of the, uh, <laughs> the Mavericks dugout over there. Yeah, we don't need to hit that. Yeah, I don't want to hit that at a high rate of speed, that's for sure. So 0 1 count to the leadoff hitter, Nash. Next pitch just misses a little bit low and outside, ball one. Next pitch swung on, lofted in the air to right field. And it is going to get foul. Right fielder Goins had to come over quite a ways to get that, but it went off the right field fence in foul territory. So one ball and two strikes. One, two pitches lofted into center field. Center fielder Morio is makes a couple of steps in, reaches over, and grabs the ball in the air for the first out. First pitch, the next hitter, Fletcher, is a ground ball down the third base line. Everybody seemed to think it was fair, but umpire calls it foul. So 0-1 count to the left fielder, Fletcher. Let's pitch the ball down in the dirt. Ball. 
fastball from Windesman. Misses a little outside, so count goes to two balls and one strike. Oh, next pitch just misses outside. Fastball just missed there. A lot of run on it. Ball three. So 3-1 three, count. Windesman steps off, get another sign from his catcher, Balius. Next pitch is swung on, lofted into left field. Left fielder Morin is over, tracking towards it into the corner and makes the grab in the air. Nice play by Morin there. Turned his hips right off the bat, got a good jump on it, and made the play. So two away for the Hippos in the bottom of the second here. Brings up the second baseman, Pollard. Nice pitch. Oh, that was a nice pitch. Just the first pitch in there for called strike one. Swing and miss the next pitch, strike two. Comes the 0-2 pitch. Misses outside and low. Two outs, nobody on. One, two count to the number eight hitter, Pollard. Another one two pitch. Misses outside. So two two count now to Pollard. Next pitch is swung on and a miss. Strike three. Third strikeout of the night for Windesman ends the inning. So no runs, no hits for the Hippos. We head to the top of the third inning score. Still Hutto two, McNeil one. Top of the order coming up for the Mavericks here in the top of the third inning. Leadoff hitter Ryan Morin singled in his first at bat. He was up at bat last inning, but his uh, at bat was ended when uh, Mendoza was caught stealing third base. So he gets a fresh count. Leadoff hitter in the, here in the third inning. Looks at the first pitch, misses outside, ball one. Next pitch swung on, grounded sharply to shortstop, but he's right there, makes the play, and grounds in the first out of the inning. So one away for the Mavericks here, brings up the third baseman, Ryan Vosick, who 
advanced more and over to second base by means of a sack bunt in the first inning. First pitch to Vasek. Fastball catches the outside corner for called strike one. Next pitch, nice breaking ball in there for called strike two. So 0 2 count to Vasek with one away here in the top of the third. And the 0-2 pitch swung on, lofted into right field. Shallow, shallow hit ball. Right fielder's playing right there. And he makes the grab for the second out of the inning. Now that'll bring up with two outs. Pitcher Chris Windesman to the plate. Walked in his first at bat back in the first inning. And we've got a train going by right behind us here at Huddle Field. First pitch looked like a breaking ball that didn't quite break. Stayed up high, ball one. Another breaking ball misses high. So two balls, no strikes to Windesman. Pitch fastball down in the dirt. So 3 0 count to Windesman with two outs. And a 3 0 pitch is in there for a called strike. First baseman Jackson Collins on deck. And a 3-1 pitch to Windesman is a ball that misses high and inside. So two-out walk for Windesman, his second walk of the night. And we're going to have another courtesy runner. Same courtesy runner goes in as was the first inning there. So Ryan Shook, number 22, comes in and will be our new runner at first base with Jackson Collins coming up to the plate. Collins also walked in his first at bat. First pitch to Collins, fastball misses outside in the dirt, ball one. Not much of a lead for the runner shook at first. Pitch is swung on, grounded softly to third base. Throw over to first is bobbled, though, by the first baseman. So Collins is safe at first. Shook attempts to advance from second to third, and he is tagged out. And that will end the inning. So a couple of base runners, but uh, no runs and no hits for the Mavericks in the top of the third. We head to the bottom of three. Score... Still Hutto 2, Mavericks 1.
Bottom of the third inning, leading off for the Hippos. Third baseman and number nine hitter, Doggett. After him, we're back to the top of the Hutto order. The shortstop, Cantwell, and the center fielder, Gadeswick. First pitch, swung on, lofted into shallow right field, and that ball's going to get down for a base hit. So Doggett is aboard with a leadoff single, and we're back to the top of the huddle order. Shortstop Cantwell comes up. He flew out to left field in his first at bat. First pitch to Cantwell. Breaking ball misses a little outside. Ball one. Pitch from Windesman. Fastball just missed somewhere. Must have missed a little outside or something. Look, look good from here. That umpire has, hasn't really called many out there like some have we've seen. He's, he's not calling it much out there. Yeah, he's tough on the outside he for sure. He is tough. So 2 0 count. Nice little quick pick move from uh, Windesman over to first base. The runners back safely though. Pitch misses high and outside, so we'll have a 3 0 count to the hitter Cantwell. <laughs> 3 0 pitch, green light swung on, fouled out of play over the right field side. Count is now three balls and one strike. Dog at the runner still at first base. Winsman takes a long look at the runner, dog it. And umpire calls time. Resets and we are ready for the 3-1 pitch. Misses low, so that'll be ball four. So runners on first and second now. Nobody out brings up the center fielder Gadeswick, who singled in his first at bat and scored a run in the first inning. It's like uh, corner corners of the infield are in. First baseman Collins playing on the grass. Third baseman Prink pretty close. And the first pitch actually hits the hitter in the top of the helmet. Tried to get out of the way, just kind of collapsed downward and popped him right in the top of the head. So he hits out in first base. With a hit by pitch. And that loads the bases with nobody out. That is going to result in a uh, quick conversation on the mound, a visit from the assistant coach, Zach Weikert. Looks like we have some activity in the Mavericks bullpen. Coach Wakert makes his way back towards the Mavericks dugout. And Windows and Wind will get set with bases loaded, nobody out to face the number three hitter, Bab, who singled and scored a run in his first at bat.
First pitch and win have been fastball. Misses a little bit low and outside, ball one. Next pitch, swung on a big swing and a miss, strike one. So one ball, one strike to Bab. And the next pitch gets away for Winnesman, and win that's another hit by pitch. So two hit by pitches in a row. That will bring a run around to score. And everybody advances a base. So scores now three to one Hutto. Base is still loaded, brings up the number four hitter, first baseman Ender, who struck out in his first at bat. First pitch to Ender is a fastball, misses high, ball one. Pitch fastball misses out in dirt. Kept in front by the catcher Bailey as ball two. Two oh pitch swung on, lofted into right field side, actually tails off foul territory. Be down for a strike. So 2 1 count. Right fielder Goins once again had to come full speed, came quite a ways over in foul territory to try to get that, but just couldn't get there in time. So 2 1 count. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play. So Wind has been coming back from a 2-0 count to a 2-2 count now. Mav still looking for the first out of this inning. And that pitch gets away from the catcher and uh, the runner's going to come across. All the runners advance on that wild pitch there. So runners on second, third now. Count is full to the hitter ender. And the score is now 4-1 in favor of Hutto. Next pitch is in there, lined sharply just over the head of the second baseman. Mendoza gets in the right field for a base hit. Runner from third comes around to score. Runner from second was in it safely as well, and on the throw, the hitter is out trying to advance to second. So the hitter gets a single, and he's out trying to advance to second base, but he does bring two runs across on that and clears the bases. So that's the first out of the inning. And the score is now 6-1, Hutto. And that brings up the number five hitter, the catcher, Hall. He looks at ball one, that's the first pitch. Hall was out on a drop strike three in his first at bat in the first inning. Next pitch fastballs low and in the dirt. So count goes 2-0. and oh.
Next pitch from Winnersman. Fastball just misses outside. Ball three. Next pitch lined over to third baseman's head and into left field for a single. And it looks like that's going to do it for the pitcher, Windesman. We're going to have a courtesy runner for the catcher, Hall. Number five, Garcia, comes in to be the runner first. And we're going to have a new pitcher for the Mavericks. Number 14, Brandon Morio, comes in in relief for Chris Windesman. So we will let the new pitcher, Morio, get his warm-ups. We'll be right back. Score is 6-1, Hutto, bottom of third inning. All right, new pitcher, Brendan Mori, was ready to go. And with one out and a runner on first here in the bottom of the third inning, he will face the number six hitter, the right fielder, Nash, lined out to center field in his first at bat. Runner goes in the first pitch. Ball is lofted into shallow center field. James Morio let center fielders underneath and makes the grab. Actually, it looks like we've had a bit of a defensive change, too. So the pitcher, previous pitcher, Chris Windesman, has gone into center field, and he's the one who made that catch there. Uh, center fielder James Morio is now playing right field. And with one, we had one pitch, one out. So we have two outs now. Still runner on first, brings up the left fielder, Fletcher. Morio throws over to first, check the runner, back, to, back in time. Runner on first is that courtesy runner, number five, Garcia, in, in there in place of the catcher, who's single in the last at bat. Runner goes, and the pitch is fouled off and out of play towards the right side. So 0 1 count to the hitter, Fletcher. Fletcher flew out to the corner of left field in his previous at bat. Next pitch, Fletcher's in there, called strike two. So 0 2 count to Fletcher, two outs. Next pitch, big curveball misses outside, ball one.
Next pitch swung on, shallow fly ball that's going to get foul and just out of the play. Third baseman Vasek made a heroic effort to try to get that behind him there, but just couldn't quite come up with it. And that hitter just kind of stuck his bat out there, almost one-handed. There was a bit of a hit and run going on there with two strikes. So count remains one and two. And next pitch goes up high, swung on a miss, strike three. So Morio comes on in relief and gets gets out of the inning with no damage. First strike out of the evening for Morio. A couple of hits though, a couple of hit by pitches, and a couple of runs for Hutto. Four runs that inning. We head to the top of the fourth inning. Hutto six, Mavericks one. Top of the fourth inning, Mavs looking for a couple of hits, a couple of runs. Leading off will be the catcher Lance Balius. He'll be followed by Deck Goins and James Morio. Balius had a sack fly in the first inning that scored the only run so far for the Mavericks back in the first inning. He looks at the first pitch. Ball misses a little bit high, ball one. Next pitch swung on, lofted in the center field. Center fielder takes a couple steps back and makes the grab. Well hit ball in the center field there. Center fielder just happened to be a couple steps underneath it. So that's the first out of the inning. Brings up Jack Goins, who Grounded out to shortstop in his first at bat. First pitch breaking ball misses outside and low for ball one. Next pitch swung on and Gets over the head of the second base with a nice line drive out to right field down in there for a single. So Goins is on with a one out single. Brings up James Morio. Grounded out to second base, his first appearance. Looks at the first pitch, fastball misses far outside, ball one. Next pitch, down to the dirt near the hitter Morio's feet. Catcher keeps it in front of him. So the count will be two balls and no strikes to the hitter James Morio. His twin brother Brandon Morio, the new pitcher of record, is on deck. And will be hitting in place of the second baseman Mendoza. Next pitch to Morio, another fastball misses high and outside, so count will go to 3 0.
Runner goes. Pitch is in there for a called strike. But Goins, who has a lot of speed, is in there safe at second base with a stolen base. So 3-1 count to Morio now with Goins, the runner on second base. Next pitch is swung on, grounded sharply to the second baseman, or shortstop. He makes the play at first for the second out of the inning. Goins, the runner on second, advanced to third on that play. Another hard hit ball just kind of took a nice hop right into the shortstop's glove. So two outs. Brings up the Mavericks pitcher, Brandon Morio. He swings at the first pitch, fouls it back to the screen. Strike one. Next pitch to Morio is a curveball. Catches the outside corner, called strike two. So 0-2 count to Morio, two outs, going, still the runner on third. Next pitch misses outside and low, ball one. Next pitch is in there on the inside corner for called strike three. So that ends the inning for the Mavericks. One hit, no runs. Score is still 6-1, and we head into the bottom of the fourth inning. We'll be right back. Eight, nine, and the top of the order hitters come up to the bat here for the Hutto Hippos in the bottom of fourth inning. Leadoff hitter, second baseman Pollard. Swings at the first pitch. He sees, lofts the ball into shallow right field. That's going to be out foul and out of play. One pitch swung on, lofted into shallow 
right center field and gets down to the in, gets down to the outfield for a base hit. So Pollard is aboard with a leadoff single. Brings up the number nine hitter, third baseman Doggett. Doggett single in his first at bat, scored a run last inning, where the Hippo scored four. Runner goes in the first pitch. Throwdown is in time, but a little bit high. So Pollard is in with a stolen base. And now stands at second. Also looks like we have uh, the previous right fielder, Jack Goins, has moved in to sec play second base now. Next pitch is swung on, lofted into shallow right field, and the right fielder, James Morio, is there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Play ball was definitely not deep enough to tag, so Pollard, the runner at second, remains there. And with one out, we're back to the top of the order for the Hippos. Leadoff hitter shortstop Cantwell flew out and walked in his two at bats. First pitch gets away from the catcher and kicks off towards the right side. So Runner Pollard will advance from second to third on the pass ball or wild pitch there, depending on how the scorekeeper scored that one. Next pitch is grounded right to shortstop. Kubani makes the play, throws over to first base, but the runner will score on that. Be two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. The score is now 7 1 Hutto. Number two hitter Gadeswick comes up to the plate. He was reached base twice today and scored twice once on a single and was hit by a pitch last inning, too. He swings the first pitch, fouls it over towards his own dugout on the left side. Pitch for Morio. Fastball misses a little bit outside. Ball one. So what a one count to the hitter Gadeswick. Next pitch curveball misses a little bit outside. Ball two. Next pitch is grounded sharply to the third baseman. Vosik makes the play, and the throw bounces, though, and is offline to first base and kicks over towards the right field fence. Runner is in at second base, takes a big turn, but he's going to stop there. The ball gets away, though, from the second baseman, and he will now be in at third. And the Mavericks defense, unfortunately, has a little case of fumbleitis on that play there, so a ground ball to third ends up being a Three base error. And with two outs now and a runner on third, that brings up the number three hitter, Bab, who, similar to the previous hitter, Gadeswick, also singled and was hit by a pitch today so far. First pitch to Bab, breaking ball in there for called strike one. Next pitch, check, tried to check his swing, but it swung on and missed. Ball kicks away from the catcher, Balius, though, and the runner is going to advance and score from third base. Two pitch for Morio misses fastball high and outside ball one. Next 
Next pitch grounded sharply to the shortstop, Kubani fields it, makes the throw at first base, but that throw is also down to the dirt, gets away from the first baseman. Throws down to second. And Kubani makes the catch at second base, but it looks like the runner is in safely. So still two outs. Mavs still trying to close out this inning here. Bit by a couple of errors on the last two hitters. Runner on second now. And the uh, cleanup hitter, Ender, comes to the plate. Struck out and singled in his two at-bats today. First pitch to Ender misses. Ball one. Next pitch fastball catches the outside corner called strike. Nice fastball catches the inside part of the plate there called strike two. So one ball, two strikes, two outs, runner on second. Next pitch, curveball grounded sharply to the second baseman. Goins knocks it down, makes the throw to first in time, and ends the inning. But the hittos, hippos, keep calling them hittos, the hippos tack on two more runs. So the score is now 8-1. to one. We head to the top of the fifth inning. Mavericks coming up. Top of the fifth inning. Number nine hitter Sam Kubani is going to lead off, and then that will bring us back to the top of the Mavericks order. Mavericks chasing seven runs. Kubani swings at the first pitch, fouls it back into the screen. Knocks a whole bunch of dust off. Kubani grounded to uh, second base in his first at bat. Next pitch is a ball that misses outside low. <clears throat> Next pitch swung on, lofted into shallow towards the right field side. First baseman makes a couple of steps back and just foul territory and makes the play. So one away for the Mavericks. Brings us back to the left fielder, Ryan Morin, in the top of the Mavericks order. Morin, one for two today. Led off the first inning with a single. He looks at the first pitch, breaking ball, misses outside, ball one.
Next pitch, kind of a late breaking slider. Empire said it came back in and caught the inside corner. So one ball and one strike. Another inside fastball this time swung on, fouled softly over towards the <coughs> Hippos dugout on the left side. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses at a big breaking ball there, strike three. So two away for the Mavericks here in the top of the fifth. Brings up the third baseman, Ryan Vosick. Sacrifice bunt in the first inning and then flew out to right field in his last at bat. First pitch slider misses outside, ball one. Next pitch swung on and kind of caught him inside on the hands there, fouls it over just past the Mavericks dugout on the right side. One one pitch misses outside and low ball two. Fastball bounces in the dirt outside, ball three. Another ball in dirt. That's ball four. So Vosik heads down with a two out walk. And that brings up the center fielder, Chris Windesman, who has reached base twice today, both times on walks. Checks his swing on the first pitch that's in there for a called strike. Next pitch breaking ball misses outside and high ball one. Pitch fastball misses a little low and outside. So the count will be two and one. Hutto pitcher Matocha working on pitch number 79. Next pitch swung on, lined into center field and down for a base hit. So a little bit of a two out, two out rally here in the top of the fifth inning for the Mavericks. Now sitting with runners on first and second. Brings up Jackson Collins. And umpire calls time, and the Hutto head coach is going to head out and talk to his pitcher. We'll see if he goes for a pitching change here. That was pitch number 79, I believe, for the, the Hutto pitcher, Matocha. Looks like he's going to keep him in there. Bar makes his way out to uh, try to bring the conversation to an end. And the Hutto head coach heads back to the dugout. No pitching change. And the number four hitter, Collins, steps in now with Two outs. Ryan Vosick, the runner on second base. Chris Windesman, the runner at first. See if the Mavs can keep the rally alive this inning and get some runs across. 
Okay, the ball is called strike, thrown down to second base. No fielders were there, and the ball... <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys saw in the video there, but the throw down to second base hit Ryan Vosick, who was diving back to the bag, and it popped straight up off the top of his helmet. And, <laughs> and no one advanced. So one ball and no strike to Collins. Next pitch is swung on and grounded foul towards the Mag uh, McNeil dugout. One ball, one strike to Collins. And time is called right as the huddle pitcher was starting to break to do for his delivery. So Collins steps back in. And we're getting ready for the 1-1 pitch. Pitch is low and in the dirt. Ball counts now two and one. Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the screen. So we'll have two balls and two strikes. Collins the hitter. Bostic still standing. Runner on second base. Windesman still a runner at first. And here comes the 2-2 pitch. Curveball lofted into deep center field. Center fielder is running over. That ball is going to get down and into the gap. So Vosick will score easily from second base. Windesman holds up at third, and Collins comes through big clutch there with a two-out double. So a nice piece of situational hitting there for Jackson Collins. Brings a run across, scores now 8-2 to two in favor of the Hippos. And we've got runners on second and third with two outs. And Lance Bailey steps in at the plate. And he looks at the first pitch, a fastball misses outside for ball one. Next pitch is down low in the dirt. So two balls and no strikes. To Baileus. Baileus had a sack fly in the first inning and then flew out to center field in the fourth. Two zero pitch misses high. Ball three. So 3-0 count to Balius. And next pitch misses inside, ball four. So that's going to load the bases with two outs. And the head coach for the Hippos is going to come out, and that will be the end of the evening for the pitcher Matocha. So pitching change for the Hippos, number 11, left-hander Connor Morris comes in to pitch. 
We will let him get his warm-ups, and we will be right back. All right, new pitcher for the Hippos is ready to go. He inherits bases loaded, two outs. And uh, Jack Goins is the hitter at the plate. Goins one for two today. Had a single in his last at bat. Let's see if we can keep it going here. First pitch is a big off-speed pitch in there for called strike one. I'm not sure if that was a knuckleball or a changeup or what. That thing was barely moving. Next pitch misses outside. Ball one. Another fastball misses outside and high. Ball two. Two balls and one strike to the hitter Goins. Bailey is the runner on first. Collins the runner on second. Wynn been the runner on third. Next pitch misses inside. Count goes to three and one. So we'll see what the what Coach Aguirre dials up here with bases loaded, two outs, and a 3-1 count. Next pitch misses high, ball four. So that walks a run in. And that brings up right fielder James Morio to the plate. Score is now 8-3, Hippos. First pitch to Morio as the ball misses outside and high. Fastball misses a little high. Ball two. Another pitch misses outside in the dirt. So that's seven straight balls from the relief pitcher Morris. And with bases loaded and two outs, we've got a 3 0 count to the hitter Morio. Ball four. 
So another walk, another run comes across for the Mavericks. And we have timeout, and the head coach for the Hippos comes out with a glove in his hand. I'm assuming he's no longer eligible, so uh, we'll see what kind of pitching <laughs> change he sets up here. And, yeah, indeed, we're going to have another pitching change. Either that or the pitcher just decided to go in and change his glove. It's very odd. I've never seen that. Something is happening on the mound. A glove went out, as well as the head coach. Then the pitcher runs off the field and then back onto the <laughs> field with a different glove. <laughs> and, yes, we are going to have a pitching change. We have a right-handed pitcher oh, that's come in now. Okay. Pitcher's going to first, probably, and he brings in his first base glove, maybe. I know. Okay, so another pitching change for the, for the Hippos. Uh, number 17 comes in, so we will let him get his warm-ups, and we will be right back. So our new pitcher, I believe his name is Kitchens, for the Huddle Hippos, is ready to go. Bases loaded, still on a succession of walks. Two outs, scores now 8-4, Hippos. And the Mavericks pitcher, Brandon Morio, steps in. First pitch to him is a fastball in there for called strike on the outside corner. Another fastball misses low, ball one. One one pitch swung on, fouled out of play the right side. So one ball and two strikes to the hitter Morio. Next pitch, fastball misses outside and low ball two. Two balls, two strikes to count. James Morio, the runner on first, Jack Goins the second, and the catcher Lance Bailey stands at third. Next pitch, fastball inside, swung on, fouled back to the screen. So two balls and two strikes. Remains the count. And next pitch, curveball swung on and missed, strike three, that ends the inning. But the Mavericks put a couple runs up. Three runs, a couple of hits. Start to rally back. Score is Hutto 8, Mavericks 4. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. We'll be right back.
bottom of the fifth inning and do up for the Hippos. Five, six, seven hitters leading off the catcher Hall. One for two today. Singman was last at bat back in the third inning. First pitch swung on and missed, strike one. Next pitch, lofted, out of play. Foul over the right field side. So Morio working ahead quickly here in the bottom of the fifth inning, 0-2 count, first hitter. Next pitch, big breaking ball, misses just a little bit high, ball one. Next pitch, chopped towards the third base side. Vosick rushes it and makes a good play and throw over to first base. Nice scoop on, nice scoop on the throw by Jackson Collins, the first baseman, for the first out. Nice play by Vosick to charge. That ball was chopped, just kind of kicked up in the air. One of those do or die plays, you just got to rush it, grab it, make a throw over there, and hope good things will happen. Unfortunately, Collins helped him out. So ground out is the first out of the inning. Brings up the right fielder, Nash, who has flown out both times to center field. Oh. And the first pitch to Nash. Sounds like there's a, it definitely hit something on the part of the hitter there. And it looks like they're going to call it a hit by a pitch. I think there was some confusion as to whether or not it actually hit his bat instead of his hands or both. But it's going to be hit by a pitch, so he heads down to first base. So one out, runner on first, brings up the left fielder Fletcher. 0 for 2 today, flew out, struck out. <coughs> first pitch grounded sharply to third baseman. Throws over to second, gets the force out at second. Oh, and he gets run into. So that should be a hard slide, and that will be a double play to end the inning. Yeah, runner that was advancing to second base made a hard slide in and took out the second baseman, Jack Goins, while he was trying to make the throw to first, and the umpire called that out. So one, two, three inning. So no runs, no hits. We head to the top of the sixth. Score is still eight to four. All right, leading off for the Mavericks in the top of the sixth here, we have a pinch hitter in place of the nine hole in the shortstop, Kubaney. Garrett Banks goes in to hit in his place. A 
It's the first pitch breaking ball in there for called strike one. Next pitch fastball misses outside. One to one count to Banks. Pitcher goes back to the breaking ball. Gets another called strike on the outside corner. Pitcher working with a lot of tempo. Banks checks his swing on that. Umpire appeals down to the first base. Umpire says he did not go. So count will be two balls and two strikes. And two two pitch misses low for ball three. So full count to the pinch hitter Banks. He'll be followed by the top of the Mavericks order. And next pitch is in there for called strike three. So one away brings up the leadoff hitter, Ryan Morin. And he looks at the first pitch in there for called strike, fastball in the outside corner. Pitch fastball misses outside, ball one. Curveball in there, and even though the catcher's glove bounced off the ground, umpire calls that a strike. So one two count. Next pitch swung on line right back at the pitcher and over his head. It's in there for a single. So two singles on the night for the leadoff hitter Morin. And he's aboard with one out. And that brings up the third baseman, Ryan Vosick. First pitch misses outside. Ball one. Vosick with the walk. Run scored. Flew out to right field. And then uh, sacrificed Bund over in the first inning. Looks at the next pitch. Fastball in there for called strike. One ball and one strike to Vosick. Next pitch, breaking ball. Doesn't quite come back in enough. So stays there for a ball. Two balls and one strike. Another ball this time low and outside. So three and one the count. More in the runner at first. Does have speed, so we'll see if he doesn't start breaking on this pitch. He does not, and it is, oh, looked like a ball outside, but he gets the call, called strike two. So full count to Vosick now. Next pitch is grounded softly to first base side. What are they going to try to do? They try to throw and get the, they get the force at second. And so that'll be the second out of the inning. And that brings up the number three hitter, Chris Windesman, with two outs, and Ryan Vosick, the runner, first. First pitch, breaking ball misses outside, ball one. Runner takes off, big swing and a miss by the hitter, Windesman, and the throw is down there in time, caught stealing. So Vasa caught stealing, ends the, ends the inning on the base paths. No runs, one hit for the Mavericks that inning. We head to the bottom of the sixth. Score is still Hutto 8, Mavericks 4.
right, bottom of the sixth inning, Huddos. Huddo Hippo sending eight, nine, and one in their order of this inning, leading off the second baseman, Pollard. First pitch swung on, lined into right center field down in the outfield for a base hit. Two hits on the night for the second baseman, Pollard. So he's aboard with a leadoff single. That brings up the number nine hitter, third baseman, Doggett. Singled and flew out to right field in his two appearances tonight. And has the runner picked off, but the ball gets away from the first baseman, Collins. Runner is on his way to third, and he's going to try to score, and he is going to score. First pitch to the hitter, Doggett. Breaking ball, misses a little high and outside. Ball one. Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the screen. 1-1 one, one count to the hitter, Doggett. Next pitch misses just a little bit inside. That can Pitcher's been getting that call all night. Get that one. Just didn't quite get it. So 2-1 count. Next pitch misses high. High and outside. Three balls and one strike. And next pitch fastball misses just a little bit outside. Ball four. Doggett now a runner at first. Brings up the top of the order. Leadoff hitter Cantwell. Cantwell has a walk and uh, fly out and ground out today. Runner goes on the first pitch. Swing on a missed. Throw is down there in time, but ball gets away from the second baseman Goins, so the runner is safe. Pitch in there called strike two. So 0 2 count to the number one hitter, Cantwell. Next pitch, curveball in there, swung on and grounded foul down the third baseline. Count remains at 0-2. Oh, 2 pitch swung on, lofted at foul territory on the first base side. First base McCollins is tracking over there and does not make the play. So hitter will come back and gets an 0-2 count. Oh, ball came in. Looks like it got lost. Pitcher Morio lost it in the lights. So no balls, two strikes. Still the count to the hitter. Cantwell. This pitch swung on, lofted into shallow left field. Moore in the left fielder makes a nice diving play over there in time to make the grab. Nice hustle. Kind of took a bit of a tough 
slide on his knee. Looks like he's limping a little bit out there in left field. Hopefully he's all right, because that was a heck of a play. So line out on a nice play made by left fielder Ryan Morin is the first out of the inning. Brings up the number two hitter in Gadeswick. First pitch breaking ball misses outside. Next pitch fastball low in the dirt, ball two. Ball misses just a little bit low, I guess. All three. And next pitch misses high and outside, ball four. So runners on first and second. Got one out here, brings up the number three hitter, Bab. Singled, was hit by a pitch, and then uh, was safe on an error in his three appearances today. Checks a swing in the first pitch that misses just a little bit outside and low, I guess, ball one. Runner goes from second to third on the play, but the ball is swung on and fouled back towards the left side. So he will head back to second base. One ball, one strike, the count to the hitter, Bab. See if the runners take off again on this pitch. Pretty aggressive lead for the runner at second. He's not going to go. Some pitch is swung on. Line deep into left center, right center field. Morio's over, though, makes the grab. Nice grab out there in deep right center field by the fence for the second out of the inning. Very good catch out there. So that's the second out of the inning. Runner did tag from second to third, but the runner from the runner remained at first. So a long fly out. Puts us at two outs now, and runner's on first and third. And brings up the number four hitter, Ender, who has a single strikeout and grounded out to second base in his last at bat. Runner goes from first to second. Pitches in there for a called strike. Runner stole second successfully. The catcher threw the ball hard back to the pitcher, Morio, who <laughs> fortunately made the catch in time. Next pitch swung on, grounded sharply over the head of the, first of the pitcher, Morio. That's going to score one run in there for a single. And the runner comes around from second and scores the second run as well. So three runs come across this inning for the Hutto Hippos. The score is now 11 to four. Still have two outs, a runner on first base. And it looks like we're gonna have a pinch runner for the runner at first. Number four, Thompson goes in in place of the first baseman Ender who just singled in that last at bat. That brings up the catcher Hall struck out, singled and grounded out to third base in his three appearances tonight. 
Morio throws over to first to check the new pinch runner. He's back in time. Next pitch is grounded in the or is thrown in the dirt, gets away from the catcher Baileus, and the runner will get down to second base easily there. Next pitch, big curveball. It's caught in there for a called strike on the inside corner. One ball, one strike. The count to the hitter, Hall. Next pitch, fastball, misses outside. Two and one the count. Next pitch, another nice breaking ball just misses somewhere outside. So count goes to three and one. Next pitch swung on, lofted softly towards the foul territory on the first base side, and Jackson Collins makes the play to end the inning. So Hippos tack on three more runs in the bottom of the sixth. Mavs coming up with their last bats. Score Hutto 11, McNeil 4. Top of seventh inning, last chance for the Mavericks here. Chris Wynn has been leadoff hitter. He looks at the first pitch of fastball, <clears throat> a little bit inside for ball one. Swing and miss the next pitch. One ball, one strike to count to Winsman. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses outside and low. Count goes to two and one. Winsman has reached base all three times tonight. Next pitch, swung on and miss. Actually, that was strike three. Somewhere I missed a strike in that count there. So Windsman strikes out. That's the first out of the seventh inning. That brings up the number four hitter Jackson Collins, who had a RBI double, two RBI double in his last at bat. That's the first pitch misses fastball misses outside and high ball one.
pitch. Fastball misses inside, ball two. And the umpire calls time right as the pitcher was getting ready. He was beyond late in his delivery there. That ball almost came flying out of his hand. Hodo pitcher definitely quick pitching. Batters are having to kind of manage stepping out and make sure he doesn't quick pitch him too hard there. That next pitch in there was a called strike. Two balls and one strike to the hitter Collins. Two one pitch misses just a little bit outside. Ball three. Three one pitch, fastball catches the corner, called strike two. So a full count now to Collins with one out. He'll be followed by catcher Balius. Three two pitch swung on, fouled out of play. Next pitch is in there, breaking ball, comes back late, catches the inside corner for called strike three. So Mavs down to their last out. Catcher Lance Balius comes up. There's a sack fly and walked. Walked in his last appearance. Big swing and a miss at the first pitch, strike one. Fastball in there for swung it on miss, strike two. Next pitch misses fastball outside. Count is one ball and two strikes. Next pitch, breaking ball swung on, fouled back into the screen. Another fastball swung on and fouled back into the screen. Count remains one ball, two strikes. Another pitch swung on and fouled back over the screen this time. So still one ball and two strikes to Balius. Next pitch swung on, grounded to the third baseman. Fielded cleanly, throw over to first is in time to end the inning, and that will end the game. So final score, Hutto 11, Mavericks 4. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here tonight. We will be back uh, Friday, this Friday, 7.30, same game time. Mavericks play the Hutto Hippos again. This time the uh, Mavericks will be hosting them at home at McNeil Field. So thanks again, everyone. Have a good evening, and we'll see you on Friday.